Hi and welcome. This is Sig back at the lockpick. Today we have a look at the second lock on my dimple lock journey to blue belt, the Abus Extra Class 7540 ranked as a yellow belt lock. If you want to join in on the journey, check out my first video for a look at the pick and cut of a wild belt dimple lock. So, as the second lock on the list, this shouldn't be too difficult to pick. And this barely spring-loaded core certainly raises no red flags. I'm sure it poses no threat to my um, reputation as a green belt lock picker, right? Uh, right? Well, let's find out and get it into a vice. So this will be our keyway, and I didn't realize this at first, but every extra class core from Avis has this dollar sign keyway. I'm really not sure what they are trying to tell us. But navigating this boarding is pretty tough. And yeah, this will be our key. We can see the six pins and three passive key pins. Let's see if it works. Works fine. I will be using this tensioner from Multipick in 1.2 millimeters and this right leaning flag from Multipick G Pro. And yeah, so this tensioner fits this boarding perfectly. And I don't know if you just saw when I'm applying tension, we are starting already in a false set which tells me that uh, we are already engaging with some uh, of the spools. So let's start. Okay, one is already binding. And if I'm trying to apply pressure on the pin, on the spool to be exact, you can clearly see that the spring tension on the core doesn't provide any counter rotation. I will have to provide manual counter rotation. And that's really the challenge with this particular core. So let's begin. I will do this rocking motion on the pin while I just ever so slightly turning the core with the tensioner until I yes, that's a little click out of one. Let's see two. Same technique rocking motion, releasing tension, and we got two. Let's see three, three is binding. We lost our false set and we are back again. Just a little tap on three, got us the false set back. Four, oh, I think four isn't binding. Oh. Oh, there's a click, but we lost our fault set. Let's see five. Oh no, I think this was an overset on four. Let's try and get it back. Okay. Mm, let's try the beginning one. Yep, one is set again. Two field set, three is binding. I slipped and we got this open. Wow, that was pretty tough, but we got there in the end. Well, that was a steep learning curve. I mean, look at those yellow belt examples. Here we have the Master Lock 140 and that's the Abus 5530. The first thing that catches your eye, you have easy to reach pins in a very open keyway. I mean, you could probably pick this with your grandma's dead cat. While here you need a specialized pick like this one to navigate this boarding. And I'm pretty sure you can't simply pick this with a half diamond or something, even though it would be a fun challenge and please let me know if you try. And the second thing is the amount of pins. With the master lock we have four and the Abus has three. Throw in a couple of spools and yeah, you have a little bit of a nice challenge. Here though, we have six pins and I felt like five spools in there. But that's not all. The most important thing to me, those ones have a springy core 
which results in some really nice counter rotations on the first spools that you probably encounter on your way through the belts. And that's really my pet peeve here. Um, you really have to manually rotate with this lock and that's really challenging for a yellow belt lock. I know it doesn't come across on camera. This core may seem alive, but it's really not. You cannot be sure if it's alive or dead until you have a look for yourself. And that's why I dubbed this the Schrodinger's core. So pick one up yourself and let me know what you think. At this point, I'm tempted to say dimple locks are a bit more challenging in general. I mean, the white belt variant wasn't as trivial as this, neither. But I guess we'll find out in the next video, when we are looking at the book Vishtabotcha, so stay tuned. Anyhow, it was a fun pick and I learned a lot. Hope I could show you some of the caveats of picking these low-tier dimple locks. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time!